Red 2 standing by, all four lit, and in the green, welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I finally acquired the Wind's Requiem on Dragon Roost Island, and we're about to make progress. Oh, there's a person. Oh, that's that. What? Oh, what voice did I give him? I've forgotten. That's a little unfortunate. Lunk? Lunk, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've travelled far for one with no wings. And your sister? Is she... Ah, uh, well, I... got thrown away by a giant bird. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Lunk. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Lunk. I'll be waiting. And off he goes. Alrighty. Well, we can just head on in. News travels fast, which I suppose makes sense for a bunch of postmen. Now, I am their guest. But pottery! Only single rupees. Oh well, it's the principle of things. All pots are the enemy. It has been the way of every link. Well, here we are. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? Ah, so you are Lunk, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless and in time our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yeah, alright. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Lung with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Lunk is a gallant young lad, if a little bit stupid given that he ran off a cliff. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is... weak in some ways. And in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yep. Admittedly, this is my response to everything. I can't actually make any other action. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Here, Lunk, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. 
We got a delivery bag! Finally, finally crafted bags like this are used by Rito postmen everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. And off he goes. So... We'll need to head... Upstairs, or up, up ramp. As you're from off island, allow me to tell you about the dragon roost. Even in the best of times, it's a dangerous place with all those bomb flowers growing everywhere. And now it's even more perilous. It's so bad that the bomb flowers themselves have all dried up. The great and powerful Valu has created quite a mess. This one? Ah yes, here we go. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. Yeah, look, my grandma wouldn't buy me a Batman costume for Halloween. You're Lunk, aren't you? Oh, me? Uh, I'm an attendant to the Great Sky Spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Lunk, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. We got a letter! It is a letter from a father addressed to his son because apparently he can't just go and talk to him like a dad usually would. Since you've just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose your delivery bag and send this letter to blah 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 blah. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Lunk. I have a small favour I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. I'm gonna be sacrificed, aren't I? You've been looking for an off-worlder to sacrifice. Can I do the mail thingy yet? Well now, I've not seen your young face him before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Oh, excellent. That's good. But first, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use the control stick to select a shelf and press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. Nineteen letters. Great. Good. Terrific. You pass. Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of nine rupees, am I right? Come back any time. I mean it. Any time. The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal. For both of us. I think you have to do a very specific amount, like you have to get twenty or twenty-five or something? I'll maybe... I'll give it a shot. Twenty-one letters. Splendid. Super. Hmm. Your salary this time is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you twenty-one rupees. Come on by any time. I mean it. Any time. The, the better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. Alright, so I think, as I said, I think I need to sort twenty-five. Ooh. Pots. And that maxes out my wallet, so... Let's go down and talk to Kamali. By jumping off and hurting my knees. Alright, so... Oh, dizzy, dizzy. It's this door, isn't it? 
Yep, we go down some stairs. And man, he's tucked all the way out of the way. Sucks, sucks to be you, kid. Hi, kid. Your dad won't talk to you. Your dad can't be bothered saying anything, so I'm here. My name's Lunk. So he's just sitting there playing with his ball. Should we really be interrupting him while he's playing with his ball? I don't know. Oh well, let's talk to him. Uh. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I don't know. My grandma just bought this for me. I told her I wanted a Batman costume for Halloween, but no! Uh. A letter? From my father? Couldn't he be bothered talking to me? Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valo. You're in this letter too, you know. Wait, how quickly did he write that thing? Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Look, my beak is a heck of a lot smaller than yours, kid. I'm sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valo right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scowl from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valo down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valo, then I'll listen to anything you say. Alright. Well, time to go and be a hero. We've done dumber things! Stupid decisions are my speciality. Let's get... rolling. There we are. So, we need to head out to the entrance of Dragon Roost, which I believe was behind where Medley was. I probably shouldn't have maxed out my wallet, but that's okay. Alright, this way! To adventure! Alright, uh, that is not it. Damn it, no shortcuts. Alright, so I have to go downstairs. It was worth a try. Looks like we're heading out this way. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic though, I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. Or I'll do it. Charging ahead recklessly is my speciality, especially where bombs are concerned. Wow, it's a bit bleak. Oh, there you are. Hey, you actually came! I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu... He became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Ah, uh, well, he looked kind of sad. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honoured to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. <coughs> Lunk, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost. That ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Whew, thank you so much. 
Okay, pick me up. Uh, I don't know any good lines. Oh, wait, you meant that. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Alright, so I have to go up here. Set our aim. And when they blow towards... There we are! She can get poleaxed if you make a bad throw. Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the great Valu's language. Not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Right, if you die, I've got dibs on your socks. So, we get our first bottle. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? How much? Well, good luck. To both of us. Alright, let's set our first bottle. We can get five bottles. There we go, we filled our bottle with water. Try pouring pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. Alright, climb up here. And water the bomb flowers, which grow miraculously quickly. Yep, that is very quick. And there we are, the spring is unclogged. And the pond will fill up, so we can swim across. Very nice, very nice. Still plenty of volcanic ash swirling around though. Alright, in we go. We can still drown in here too. I probably wouldn't drink that water. It's probably got a lot of volcanic ash in it. It'd need a lot of filtering. Alright. We need to play Bombsketball. Oh, that's a terror. Whoa! Shouldn't have set it down. That is a terrible minigame, Bombsketball. I hate it. Well, still rubber arms. Alright, pick it up. Come on, rubber arms. Third time's the charm. Oh, rejected. Camera. Wow. It's just really not going. Do I have to get it into this? No, that's further away. Yeah, it, man. Do I have to wait for the wind to be in the right direction? Or do I have to be right on the edge? How many times have I screwed this up? Finally! Oh, jeez. Well, that was embarrassing. I had no momentum and just... Where am I? Oh, I'm all the way over here. No momentum, so I just... Ru ru that dropped right into the, into the lava. Okay. At least it's still down. This is embarrassing. Right. Okay, once we've finished our little gymnastics session for the day. Oh, that one works. There we go. There we go. 
All right. And we at least get a little bit of an introduction to Dragon Roost Cavern. All right. So, this is the one we can move. One of them's gone moldy. I keep forgetting it's the R button. So yeah, the one that's gone moldy is the one we can't move. Pull that out of the way, and now we can sneak in. It's almost like sneaking into Dodongo's cavern. So, here we go. Oh, Bokoblins with flaming torches. We very nicely avert Mook chivalry. And there we go. He burned out. Okay, so this is a warp jar. Oh, we're going to need those. Warp jars will allow you to travel through the dungeon with ease. Aww. So they'll be pretty handy as you travel. Note those large jars with what looks like drops on them, those have, well, those have water in them. You can use those basically to create temporary platforms. Jeez, good arm, kid. And one key. So, even though they all look the same, we can only use them in the one dungeon. Alrighty. Now, Bokoblin breaks out of one of these, doesn't it? Sometimes Bokoblins can break out of those. We can smash through that, and this should... We should really be burning to death right about now. But convection is not a thing in the Zelda series. This vast volcanic chamber is part of the greater volcano that we will have to navigate to reach Valu, obviously. I don't know why I'm smashing all those skulls, but get back and jump. Link's got a pretty good jump on him, admittedly. Whoop. And out we go. So, we'll also encounter keys, too. Keys are absolute pains. They're not... They're never difficult to beat. They're just annoying as all hell. Fairly typical for bat-like enemies, in all fairness. Note that you can actually destroy the supports of those bridges. They should come for me. Whoa, lots of fire. And that put paid to him. Across we go. Don't sever anything. Please, just needed to be a little quick. There we are, there's a door. Alright, now we can use these to create temporary platforms, as I mentioned earlier. Wait, how am I not... Okay. That worked. Somehow. That really shouldn't have worked, I was standing in lava! So, we got the dungeon map. Let's take a look at it. Yada yada yada, the ex explanation is always the same. So, the broader dungeon map. Four floors, which is perhaps a little unusual for a beginning dungeon. I think some of the, one some of the ones in the Oracle game Beginning dungeons in the Oracle games were actually fairly big, but it's been a long time. I hope they wind up coming to the uh, Switch Online really soon. Ah! 
Whoop. There we go. Now, let's make it across. And... That should do. Very nice. There we go. Wait a minute, there's a choo-choo at the top of the ladder. Yep. Well, there was a cross counter. It hit me, but I killed it. Thankfully, I'm a lot more durable. That extra hard container might just really come in handy. It's a nice little trap. You try and get all the way up there, and then the choo-choo lands on your head. All right. And pole axed. So, once again, we actually get to use the steal an enemy's weapon mechanic. Which is something really, really good. So, these can't combo, but they'll usually have advantages. Oh, choo choos. Nice shot! I keep trying to stab instead of. Cut. Okay, pick up this. This should be the compass. Keep that on hand. It is. It's a key. Okay, good. It, at least it's not money. Keep that. Look at these things. They're as big as Link is, and yet he can use them very effectively. Fine, my sword is a little faster though. So, nothing more to do here. But it does teach you some good little mechanics about those weapons. Okay. Nothing in the rock. Hmm, I wonder. Well, that wasn't a very good throw. Also, it wasn't a very good throw. I need to get closer. Okay, so the pot... Run! Alright, well, we didn't die. That works. And back we go. What's through this door? Well, we've pretty much hit the half hour mark again. But it's not a good spot to relax. Now there is something over there, but... We... Alright, too late. There we go, that's how we do it. So I was going to say, there is an item over there that we can't get just yet, but I think I'll call it for now. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red 2, returning to base.